funnels don't work if you don't have enough people showing up, right? If you have, let's say, five people showing up to your application funnel every month, it's not going to work. You're going to say, ah, well, it's baloney, like it doesn't convert, it's not helping me. Of course not, because there's five people. If 10% were to, you know, opt in to work with you, that's still less than one person. You need 100 people at 10%. Then you get 10 people, maybe one person ends up buying. So you need a, a lot of people to show up which means you have to get proficient at driving traffic. Traffic is what we call potential clients coming to your application page to learn about who you are, what you do, and how they can work with you. And there's three main types of traffic and only one that you need to really concern yourself with and focus all your attention on improving. Let's talk about it. So what we're gonna talk about is the three different types of traffic and we're gonna talk paid, we're going to talk earned and we're going to talk owned. So for our example of paid traffic, it is Facebook ads. This means you are paying some type of company ads. You could pay another trainer to promote your business in their area. You could uh, pay for flyers. These are things that you have to literally take money out and make traffic happen, right? There's a cost per acquisition, uh, cost per click, okay? So in this example, we're going to use Facebook ads. Earned, we're going to use YouTube. So you have a, a following on social media. That's earned. You worked hard to get that. And lastly, we have owned. This is, you know, spoiler ahead, the only one that you need to focus on uh, really, really growing. And that is your email list. You own these people's contact information so you can reach out to them as often and as frequently as you like. Often and frequently, same word. Right? You could just reach out to them constantly with new offers, new stories, build relationships, ask for testimonials. You own that traffic. And if you have enough people on your list, you can somewhat, with a certain amount of guarantee, know how much you're going to make every single month, depending on the new offers you're coming out with, the conversion rates, the relationship building, all of that stuff. So that's the one we really want to focus on, and we're going to talk about how to do that soon. But let's just look at the numbers here. So we have a very simple setup. We have a sales page and we have a thank you page just for the uh, operation going in here. And we're going to simulate this. This is a wonderful software. I love using this. If you want to see how your business pans out in here, just reach out to me at caninebusinessbuilders.com. Apply with me. We can actually look through this together. I'll run through your marketing uh, funnel. You don't have to pay for this software. So let's put Facebook through. And for Facebook, which is our, our example of our paid ads, we're spending $5 per click. Right Now, that might seem like a lot if you're running Facebook ads right now. You're like, well, it's only like $2. On average, they go up over time. So let's just start at 5 And let's say we get 100 monthly visitors. This means 100 people every month are going to our application page. That's kind of the bare minimum for us to start seeing some numbers that we can fluctuate and move around and test different headlines and that kind of thing. So let's look at that. So we're going to connect this to our sales page. And our, our sales page is going to convert conservatively about 10%. 100 people, it should mean 10 people end up buying. So let's look at it. Oh, and our product here uh, is an $1,000 training with you program. If you have a higher ticket, fantastic. If you have a lower ticket, you should increase it to at least 1000 or uh, figure out how to make your offer so good that it's worth $1,000. All right, so let's simulate it here. And we'll see how much we should make in monthly profit. All right, $9,207 in monthly profit. That's almost 10 k a month. That's fantastic, right? However, you've spent $800 in ads. So that's a bummer. Now let's change it. We're just going to take this away, and we're going to go to our earned traffic, which has less, right? Because with paid traffic, you're paying for the amount of people that can click. You have a little bit more control over it. With earned traffic, it does take time. So let's say you only get 50 people per month to check out your offer, to check out your page. And that's going to convert at 5%. Okay, 1,941. Let's change this to 10%. We'll make it fair with the uh, first page there. Okay, so about half, which kind of makes sense, right? If it's the same, if half the number of people end up there, okay, the half. Uh, amount will convert. However, you're not losing 
as much money in ads. There is a, a fee taken out of here as the algorithm for operational costs, okay? So let's just say it's 250 bucks that you're taking out just to kind of run things and, and make things smooth. Okay, so looking at that, we might say, well, what if we just put them together? Wouldn't that be good? Yes, that would be fantastic. So you start to put them together. And voila, of course, you make $14,061. That's fantastic. Here's the kicker, though. Number one, you need to be able to make enough money for ads to work properly. If other people can pay more money than you can, they're going to win. And number two, social media takes a long time to build. So what I recommend is you start building your social media and testing out your application funnels. You start testing them, making sure that they're working, they're converting at least 10%. Because if, you're, if, if this page, if our first page is only converting at 1%, and I send it through, you're only going to make $471. And you spent, you spent more than you made, right? That's no good. That we, we don't want that. We at least want to break even is what it's called, okay? We at least want to break even. So if you do the numbers, then you find out, well, I kind of want to aim for a 10% conversion rate. So if we aim for a 10% conversion rate on that main page and YouTube is our testing platform, then once we start to get some money in, we can start paying for ads. But here's the best part. If on YouTube and these ads, instead of sending them directly to a sales page, you'd send them to a page where you give away something for free. Right? For me, for the dog training cheat codes, uh, my book for dog owners, I might give away the first chapter. Say, hey, you can read the first chapter. If you like it, you can upgrade and buy the whole book. If you don't like it, you didn't waste the money and you still learn something, right? If you do that, for them to get that free thing, they have to give me something. And that something is their email, their contact information. So I'm going to build out an email list. Now we're going to get rid of YouTube. And we're going to get rid of Facebook because we don't want to count them in here. And let's say you just have a 1,000 people on your email list. And you email them maybe once a day, maybe three times a week. I wouldn't do less than that because you're just going to get lost in their inbox. But if you're there consistently telling stories, success stories, we talked about stories the other day. So just every day, pick a new story, tell a new story. And sometimes you say, hey, if you want me to fix the problems that you're going through or you want to learn more, schedule a free consultation with me. And you send them to this sales page and they convert at 5% and you simulate this, you end up making $50,000 per month. Now, can you handle 50 new clients? I don't know. <laughs> right? But over a couple of months, maybe 10 months, if you just get 100 new people on your email list, and actually, let's look at that. So instead of 1000 people, if you only had 100 people your first month, and you market to them, and you test out your pages, and you do all of this research, you're going to make 4854. But then this compounds. So the next month, you end up getting 200 and we simulate that oh look at that that more than doubled 9707 now let's do it again let's just jump to 400 so four months have gone by all right we're heading into the summer you're making 20,000 a month see what I'm talking about so I can start building that up now if we go back to and actually what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do 500 so you're almost six months in Every day you're working on your YouTube channel and you've started to make some money, so you're paying for ads and you send this through. Let's see what it comes out with. 38,328. Now, at some point when you have enough people on your email list, you don't have to focus so heavily on the ads and so heavily on the YouTube. It's a lot of grind. It's a lot of work testing things out, spending a lot of money in the beginning. But once you have that email list, boom, you can just market to everybody. And at the end here, at the bottom here, you can see... I move my head out of the way or I move the screen over there we go move my head out of the way you can see oh we're missing this there we go it's like why didn't that go through you get 10 clients from Facebook ads you get five clients from your YouTube channel and you get 25 clients from your email list clearly the email list is the more important one would you end up walking away with 40 clients per month? Can you tackle 40 clients per month? I don't know if you can. 
If you can, fantastic, then this is perfect for you. If you can't, then you need to increase your prices, which is what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel to never miss another episode about marketing and growing your dog training business. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.